Welcome to All Things HTLT. We are here because our faith is a priority and leading teens closer to Christ is our mission. We are sinners striving to be perfect and giving all glory to God on the way. You are welcome to join us on this adventure. Turn up your volume and make sure you're in the perfect place to enjoy this next episode of All Things HTLT. All right, y'all ready? Let's do this. Okay. Today we have some of the most awesome people in San Pedro that I know. I call them by their uh, stage names, El Dizzle and Ashy Ash. Uh, but you might know them as Lacey and Ashley. Since they are new to this podcast, I'm going to have them introduce themselves a little bit and then answer a little bit of a bizarre question. Uh, so introduce yourselves and all that kind of good stuff and uh, a- answer the question, what is the best and worst smell you have ever smelt? Keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. My name is Ashley Lopez. I have been a core met. Well, not anymore, oh, <laughs> unfortunately. Sad day. I sad days, sad days. But I used to help out a lot at HT. Um, I am now going to school at UC San Diego, and I'm home because of quarantine. Unfortunately, you might um, also know her by her brother, yeah. Mr. Daniel Lopez. Oh yes, Danny, Danny, <laughs> Danny. Yep, that's my brother. Um, but that, let's see, my worst smell and my best smell. My best smell would have to be um, when I was living with my aunt in San Diego, she would make these um, like fresh pastries every morning mm. and we would eat them for breakfast. Are they so- like the Mexican bread? Pastry? No. No, they're not. I'm the just Mexican asking. Bread. <laughs> not, no, she would make. She's Armenian, so she uh, would make um, like fresh bread. Um, my favorite one that she would do though was like a, a carrot. It was like a carrot cupcake. Mm. Um, had so much cinnamon. I just, I'm my mouth is watering. It's so good. <laughs> so that would be my favorite smell. And then my worst smell is um, my brother. Danny. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Sorry, Why? Because <laughs> he, I don't want to go into too much detail. Okay. He hasn't showered in two weeks. I'm just kidding. You. I'm kidding. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to say my brother because, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll move on to Lacey. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Lacey Vara. I currently go to Pepperdine University, and I'm also home for um, this semester, I I would consider myself just a floater between life teen, not yeah. really on core, but you've served as director before on Yeah, just a little two point oh action 2. every 0. once in a while. You're cutting yourself shortly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but um anyways, my worst smell would have to be the smell of like vinegar. Oh really? I hate that smell. <gasps> Wait, how do you make like Easter eggs? Oh, I don't make oh, Easter really? eggs. I, oh, that sad. that smell is just terrible. That's a great one, Lacey. That I is a good one. That. Yeah. That's um, great. And my aunt, if you guys know her, she loves like her her remedy is white vinegar, like on everything. <gasps> like if you have a sunburn, it's white vinegar. So mm. so it's just oh, it's awful. My best smell would have to be. Um, my room, like the smell of my room. Why? You know, we all have like that smell. Isn't it your smell? Like? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is. I- I'm not sure. But She's whenever, like, I just smell good. Whenever you know? I go on vacation and I come home, I love the smell of my room. Really? Like, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go. I step into my room and it's like. It's <laughs> so bizarre. Wait, do you mm. think it's like the smell of the detergent and stuff that you use or? No, because it's just my room. It's just the smell of my room interesting or like when i, I wake even... up in the morning and i go to the bathroom and then i come back into my room I'm like mm, like it smells like me <laughs> okay all right lazy comforting. <laughs> it's comforting i i was thinking of my worst and best smell I, I i made this question and i literally didn't think about it actually um the worst smell is Anytime you have to go into like a porta potty, oh like, yeah, the worst. I remember, especially on a hot day, like that oh, blue stuff in the toilet. Yes, oh, that's no, the worst. I'm thinking about the stuff that people leave <laughs> in there when you don't see the blue. Is that kind of yeah, that kind of day. I remember we went to uh, Utah, and in Utah it was just like really hot and muggy. No, actually, oh <laughs> uh, no, I'm not even gonna tell that story. But uh, yeah, I went. 
I went into it. I'll just leave it as I went into a porta potty in, in um, Mexico and it was like the worst thing. Like it, it like I had to go. That's like, Ooh. and it was like, it was just the worst. Uh, that was the worst. The best smell I love. And this is so weird, but I love gasoline. The smell of gasoline. Mm, that's like, a good one too. I don't know I why. Like this, I wouldn't say that's my favorite though. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> it smells good, but it's not like better than my room okay Golly. or like linen fresh you, linen. oh fresh linen like detergent Bleach. i guess like oh. clean like a clean smell you know like no but i i do have like nostalgic feelings when i smell gasoline mm. or freshly cut grass freshly oh that's cut, good yeah on. freshly yeah. cut grass or like ocean breeze Ooh, yeah without but the what smoke. even is ocean breeze what even is the smell sand of ocean and breeze? ocean like salt water yeah salt water i mean yeah salt i water. guess but when you smell ocean breeze in a Fish. candle it's not salt water. It's oh, like yeah. sweet oh, interesting. and like yeah. weird. It's just like apple weird. cider vinegar. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> What's the apple? I don't know. All right. So today <laughs> we are going to be talking all about pop culture and then we are going to try to find Jesus in our faith in, in pop culture and see where, where he kind of comes in and how pop culture has kind of shaped us and who we are um, and kind of the culture in and of itself, you know, is whether it's what we do especially now that we're in kind of COVID and quarantine, it's like we're constantly on our phones, on social media, on the news and kind of watching everything that's going on. Um, so the first and foremost, what I wanted to kind of get from you guys is like, what, what in pop culture stands out to you? Like what moments or what person, um, it, it can be like recent, it could be of all time. Like, I don't know, take it away. What in pop culture stands out to me? Um, well, I feel like personally I'm in an iffy category because there's some things that or some trends that um, my brother, like I get my pop culture feed like mm. through my brother um, because he's a youngin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, I get all of all of my um, pop culture stuff like through him. He'll like direct me or tell me references and things like that. Um, but honestly, like when I think of pop culture, there's like some things that I want to be a part of or some trends that like I will like, hmm. um, others that I'm not so hyped on. Hyped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't um, that a pop culture? Yeah. I get that. Uh, I mean, I Lacey, a, are you the youngest out of us? Bra- yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm 19. I watch TikTok. <laughs> um, yeah, that brand. There's a brand though that's like get hyped uh, on YouTube. Wait, what? What? What things do you get sucked into that you like from pop culture? Um, Is it dances? You're like, hey. <laughs> no, I I would I feel like I would be um, all into like dances and TikTok dances if I actually knew how to dance. So like oh. that's a straight oh. flat oh, out no man. for me. <laughs> well, I don't know how to sing, but I still do it. So <laughs> yeah, I still try doing the TikTok dances. Um, <laughs> I try. I try. <laughs> They're not posted. There's like if you 20 videos in her drafts just of her trying to do okay, that. Okay, Lacey. Okay. <laughs> no, honestly, there is though. Um, but like things that I get sucked into, I would say are um, like funny things. Um, I I would say like my top category, if like there was, if I had a name a category, would be like gifts and memes. Mm. Like that game. What do you meme? That's like a prime. I played ex- it, but I know what you're talking. That's about, like yeah. a prime example of pop culture and kind of the things that I I just want to have a good laugh. Like when I think of pop culture, I want to like have things that will make me laugh. There's nothing better than a good old meme. I know. To brighten up your day. Is there a meme that you go to? Like, what's your go to? Or what's a couple? I guess. Uh, <laughs> I had. I had um, someone post a video. I think it's so funny. It's like this guy. It's like an older guy. And he's like going, he was like crying. You know what I mean? Like he's like crying. Do you know what I mean? Is he laughing or crying? No, I have like- never seen this one. <laughs> <laughs> I have to find it. I have to play like the actual audio from it, but it's so funny. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put it in. Yeah, yeah, we'll put it in, it Jay's. Tr- I'll I'll try to send it to you. Um, but, but that was too good. I mean, that was a really good replication. That I know that was like whoa. <laughs> I'm glad it was audio like based that I could have like replicated it. I like the um. There's a couple ones, um, especially kind of it with everything going on. It's that uh, it's that um, what is it? Homer 
from Simpsons where he like fades into the the, oh, the, gra- the or the bush. bush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. I was I always use. And they that one. made a they made a Instagram filter for it. Oh really? Yeah, oh, I'll send it to you. It, yeah. I have oh it saved. my goodness! Oh man, that's so good. That one or like the guy that like he's like blinking. He's like what? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what's going on? <laughs> I love that one. Jace, you're pretty good about sending um like the gifts and stuff. I research onto- them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're pretty good about you know sending who, them. You know who's good? Mike. Mike is so good, oh, but he he, he sends all cat stuff. Like Oh yes. I don't know. The grumpy cat. Yeah. Things like that. How about you, Lace? A good like a meme? Are we still talking I guess about a memes? meme? Yeah. Or or like yeah, yeah, a meme. <laughs> uh, or like what you're attracted to too. You know. Oh yeah, well, are we talking are we yeah. going back to the original question? Sure. Let's okay. Do it. Um I would say of course, like right now, just Kanye West and where he's mm. going. Um I think he's really big right now in our generation and people don't realize it. Uh, but more of just like not the recent presidential stuff and, you know, his politics aside and everything. I think him, um, you know, being like a reborn Christian and everything, hmm. it's really interesting to see where, who, who, like what people think about about it. You know, I love to, to hear people's thoughts because um, Christians are, you know, are sometimes very quick to to question it and um people who aren't christian are very quick to say that's weird well let's talk about that like for a second like so this is like everybody knows kanye like he is he he made the easies you know he made music that and that's his that's where he kind of began right Mm -hmm. um i know nothing about kanye so let me just put that out i know one song by kanye and that's it doesn't he do uh what's that one it's like a pump-up song like I came out to it for like tournaments and stuff. It was like maybe that I wasn't Kanye Jace. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I know nothing about Kanye. No, it might have been. <laughs> um, but like with that being said, it's like what, what it when did this turn around? So like when when did this kind of happen? Was this like an immediate thing for him um, that he like came into the faith immediately? Yeah, I um, think. I, well, from what I see, I think. He had an album, his first album ever dropped in 2004 or five or something. He had a song on it called Jesus Walks. That was like oh, on his first, yes. I first that one. album, right? Is that Jesus the Walks? Walks? Yeah. And he's like telling, he says, God, wow, show me I'm the impressed. way. Yeah. So the devil does that. You know, like he, he's been, you can see it all through his albums that he's always, he's always had this like draw to, um, you know god and actually like i think mm. it was 10 years ago in an in a interview he said 10 years from now so 2020 about right now he wanted to be solely making music for christ so the Dang. fact that he said that 10 years ago i mean it's not it's not that surprising because listening to his music and he thought life of pablo which is a very like just you know it's a rap album he thought that was a gospel al- album and mm. now he's making you know jesus is king and it's like I think people are still drawn to his music and hopefully are getting saved from it. I mean, yeah. it's my hope. So, Lacey, can I ask you a question? Um, as someone that doesn't really listen to, like, anything Kanye-related, um, what would you suggest would be a good song or a good album to start <laughs> good, off with? The beginning. Really? to The college dropout. Or, I mean, for when, what Kanye says, he says why – he would never he would never play any of that music anymore and ever again really so why even go back to listen you know he, he it's like going into an apple store you're not going to see the iphone 4 you know yeah, you're going you to you're going to you're going to see the new stuff oh. and that's how you know that's how he see, i i think he sees it as he doesn't want that to be his his you know name anymore hmm hmm so th- like talking in in pop culture generally speaking like and just looking at Kanye um, is like he's mixed up with a lot of stuff. Like, yeah. and, and that, that's probably why people get like, and I'm just going to kind of like go out on a limb and kind of say like people like look at him and be like, eh, I don't mm-hmm. know about him. Mm-hmm. Like he's fake or this, that yeah. and the other. And it's like, because they're looking at kind of like his past and things and like, and we have to kind of say is look at any Christian's past. Exactly. You know? It's like, um, but with that being said, it's like, with pop culture and you have the spotlight on you, you know, whether it be like, let's take Miley Cyrus, Mm -hmm. you know, like let's say a year from now she changes and different things. It's like, do you think they get a different limelight than like, 
I wouldn't say like a normal, but like a yeah. non-famous. Oh, a hundred percent. Because their their journeys are for all of us to see. You know, mm. compared mm. to my journey, I can keep it to myself for all I want. But their journeys are literally out in the open. Like we can all research his past lyrics on songs from 2010 and say that's no Christian. You know. <laughs> yeah. But like, I mean, who are we? We all have past, and like, just mm. because theirs are out. I mean, there's so many artists now that are coming out to be Christian. We have Justin Bieber. You know, oh, who's, yeah. who's oh, yeah, really that's a big great example. Um, a Selena example. Gomez. I don't oh, know if you've heard of that. Selena. She has been doing worship music and um, singing a lot of like worship songs within churches now i know Mm. demi lovato and it's like people think it's weird in pop culture because um it's not the norm you know obviously which is just i like i guess like it's not it's not the norm but it it's um i don't know like how to say it but it's just unfair that it is considered weird exactly yeah Mm. i don't like i don't I don't like that necessarily. Not that I'm like disagreeing or agreeing. It's just why is it frowned upon? I guess because majority of people have faith. Like yeah. it's not like, but yet it's well, frowned upon when I they. I think it's like the lifestyle. Oh, I think it's like it's frowned upon because you have to, um, you can't live two lifestyles, kind of a thing. Mm. Um, I mean, depending on like where you lie. Like, is it hard? Christian. I guess to be famous and be Christian. Oh, I, I wouldn't know, but. I'm I don't sure know from uh, from our be. perspective. Yeah. I mean, I think so. I think it's really hard. Well, okay, what like it, the way I think about it is: is it hard living a Christian life just as someone that's not famous? Um, and sure. I mean, for you, I'm sure you would be like, nah, like I don't care. But oh, oh well, no, no, well, because you're <laughs> no, like very set in stone. But I remember, like in high school, it was really hard trying yeah. to live a Christian life as a teenager. You know, when all of these things that were considered pop culture, things that were considered cool were happening around me so it was what, really frowned what upon. is what is cool now that's front like like that would be like maybe not so good in christian like christianity um i'm just gonna go out on a limb and say like vaping mm. you know like but that's like so that's like cool that's cool uh-huh. but because everybody's doing it is that I think it's just because it's more of like a an adult thing to do, and mm. like things that are kind of cool or things that adults are doing. I'm not sure if that's necessarily true or not. What yeah, do you think, Lazy? I think I wouldn't say vaping because your question was more towards like people who live like you know the celebrity lifestyle, quote unquote, and how that's hard to then become you know to mm. show off as a Christian because pe- you know we're supposed to live like humbly and not not strive for high fashion and a lot of celebrities do you know they but i think they're like i think it's a good testament i and i have to i'm like not sure the exact quote and stuff but i know there was like even with mother Teresa, there was like this really really wealthy woman that went to go serve like for a month and left her family and kind of like was um serving and she's like i want to give everything and mother Teresa was kind of saying something along the lines of like no, you have to be present, like with with those people that you're around, you know. And and I think it's like very even people that that I know, kind of like um, on a personal level, that are are more well off and stuff. Is like they um, they are Christ in a different setting than like I am mm-hmm. with teens, you know, like with mm-hmm. their kind of group. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, just... I agree. I think we're not. I mean, they're on different platforms than us, and. If they have different resources, we're, then... we're constantly, you know, wanting a revival in our faith. And what if God is saying, like, this is your revival and people are mm. saying, well, I don't really like this revival because it's, <laughs> you know, celebrities and we don't know if it's, you know, reliable. But he's like, no, this is the revival you're getting. Mm. So I guess the best we can do is just pray for them and hope that, you know, newly Christians and stuff, they're going to make mistakes just like all Christians. Yeah, I think it's definitely like a step in the right direction. Like, yeah. I, this is definitely not like end all be all, you yeah, know, kind yeah. of thing. And the thing with like Kanye West and everything is like him making the Jesus is King album. And people were going, you know, that was his first Christian album, I would call it. And people are, people want to hear it. People mm-hmm. want to hear it because it's Kanye West and people want to hear it because musically he's a genius. So people go for the music and 
you know, who knows what's going to happen. We have people saying who just who don't even know who Jesus Christ are now saying Jesus is king because it's an album name. Mm. Mm-hmm. So now we have people saying Jesus is king. That's such like a common term now. But it's like people are saying Jesus is king. And that, that's such a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like those words, you know, definitely. So yeah. Like, I mean, it's definitely like I said, it's definitely a step in the right direction that it's like, wow, like this is. This is this has kind of made its mark kind of in mm-hmm. our in in pop culture, but in our own culture. Um, what are some, I guess, going back to like the trends and stuff, what are some trends that are like happening that maybe I have zero clue about? I'm like I- I'm not on TikTok, like, so I know nothing about kind of but I know now Instagram is doing reels, so mm-hmm. it's kind of like TikTok yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I guess. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a trend in itself that people don't like reels because it's a knockoff of TikTok. Oh, really? Which is, a, I think, a trend going on right now. Oh, I didn't now. know people didn't like it, but I don't know. Knockoff. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to think of some trends, Jace. Um, there's like some that instantly came to mind that I'm like, these are not appropriate trends. Oh. Um, so I'm trying to think of other ones honestly okay. trends i think the tiktok movement is a trend you mm. know i mean generally speaking are there things on tiktok that are like um of course there's gonna be like good and bad and uh-huh. stuff but but talk to me like um what kind of trends are we seeing yeah like are they mostly good or bad yeah because i know there are like i i always get sent everybody always sends me um like trends that are like oh jesus you know like yeah. nobody ever sends me like bad, other yeah like other obviously but it's like the i get messages all the time of like oh watch this you know and like it's like talking about jesus or talking about this that uh-huh. and the other um but then i also like see like on instagram reels or whatever fashion trends where people yeah. are doing like the shoe, the flip shoe flips or whatever oh yeah is yeah. that <laughs> what's that called or i don't even know i don't know what kind of trend that is have you guys like, ever tried this no, oh okay no. <laughs> No, but this morning I was actually consider considering doing one. You should have done it. <laughs> well, like not, with this outfit? Well, no, it, not oh. with this outfit. I was like, let me see the shoes. It seems actually kind of hard to do. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really that savvy on it, but people have careers out of this. App, oh, I, I'm you know? telling like, you. Millions. They're set. They're like, set for life because yeah. of TikTok. That's insane to think about too. And, um, and like all they do is something so simple as like, I'm going to play a song I'm going to, like, what is it, 10 Dance seconds? To it. Or I no, think, I think they're I think, up to, like, a minute now. I think oh, the really? apps have made it so easy for people to do it, too. It's so accessible. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. And it's, like, being able to, like, do something that's so up your alley. You know, it's, like, we're so much on social media. But then again, is like we were talking in a previous episode, it's, like, it's stealing our time away. Like, Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Yes, it is. Um, so I like to paint. That's like kind of one of the things mm. that I'm. And there's a, a trend now, like okay, in you the can artist put your plug, community. You can put your plug in right now. <laughs> your painter plug. Your painter plug. Your Instagram. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, is that what that means? Yes. I don't even know what that yes, means. Yes, words of 2020. Plug. plug. <laughs> <laughs> I have it all listed. Plug. I don't know why you asked me to this podcast, James. <laughs> like I know nothing about. Well, we're learning together. <laughs> Um, anyways, <laughs> okay, so my plug is Ashley Rose, the artist, Ashley Rose, the artist is actually what it is. Um, but I, oh, Jace, you made me lose my train of thought. Sorry. I was, so I started an Instagram account, but I was very influenced by, um, like art videos that I would see on TikTok mm. or art videos I'd see on Instagram. And they're super trendy with like the little music in the background oh, yeah. and everything like that. And it takes up so much time because if you think about it, an actual painting can take hours to mm. do and you have to shorten that within a minute time frame. And you're like, you know, you're recording footage, you're thinking about lighting, you're thinking about music, you're thinking about all of these things, and it's so time consuming. And the oh, fact that, imagine. you know, people do this for a living, I, for me, it's just, it's really hard to comprehend that <laughs> you have yeah. so much time to do these things and you're doing multiple things. You're not creating like one video, yeah. you're creating... I don't but know. I think it's so easy to be famous now. Like it's so, and, and then we can even define the term of what is famous. Mm-hmm. What is it being on pop culture? Do you- oh yeah, that's a great question. When I think, sorry, I didn't mean to cut <laughs> no, you out there, go. but I think of um, like followers. You know, oh, that's really? that. When I think famous, I'm how like many? how many followers? Like how many people how many? support you? A thousand? Yeah, you know, like how many? Well, how many is famous? Millions. A million? No, but no, like, I would say if like, you have fifty thousand followers, like, is that famous? 
Not really. I'm just. Uh, mm. How about a hundred thousand? You could buy those. How about a hundred thousand? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would so say. So hundred thousand yeah, is 100, probably not then. famous, but like, because none of the famous people have you're well known. thousands I of. Have they have millions, you know. So it's okay. like, if you're famous on Instagram, maybe you'll have thousands. But if you're famous in society or pop culture or whatnot, mm, you're like you'll millions. Have millions. Yeah. Oh, I see. So like, social media is like a whole different. I would famous. think so. Yeah, I would mm. think so. I mean, if you're famous on social media, what are you doing? What That's, are you doing? Are you posting pictures? Yeah. And I don't then know. they're good pictures. I mean, I don't know. I don't consider that real famous or what I, <laughs> I wouldn't go and take a picture with someone who oh, takes really? good pictures on Instagram. Yeah. But really? it, what's interesting though is I think the way we think of pop culture that it, it you know, it is. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially now. But do you feel like TikTok like, famous? I, I would probably. Oh, yeah, Charlie, give me, can I have a picture? <laughs> Who's Charlie? <laughs> All I know is Charlie bit me. Do you guys know that? That's, yeah. that's, that's an old, old one. <laughs> yeah, that's old. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie is DeMelio. like, yeah, I don't even know how to say her last name, but she's like the one that is like, I don't know. One like, of the top. Like the the TikTok guru kind of a thing. Oh, really? Yeah. she's what, she now dancing? She, yeah, so she um, did TikTok dances and she kind of got, I guess, TikTok going. She's like the face of TikTok. Really? Um, and I actually Her just saw, Ray. I saw a few ads that she did recently where now she's like doing modeling and, you know, things really? like that. Mm-hmm. Because so and her sister just that. released a song. No way. Yeah. yeah. So it pick, they pick you up and hopefully they won't need TikTok for very long. That's crazy. Her sister wow. has like a music. Al- you know like an album yeah getting released and now she has all these sponsors and do you guys see a lot of christianity on tiktok no none <laughs> none uh, every once in a while it's it's based on like when they say for you page mm-hmm. it's like for you page it's yeah like it's like algorithms kind of. so like, when i like a bunch of videos about um people cooking or you know, for you painting, you're going to get more painting on your for you page. So it's like it this is a whole other thing. The algorithm, yeah. like, is that? I oh, feel like that's an it. invasion of space. Oh, oh they I took, I took use a class it. on this at UCSD. I've been taking real interesting classes I know, at UCSD. Golly. I feel like this is interesting. Like, I don't know. We can have a whole discussion on that. Yeah, alone. that's a whole other thing. Um, I want to talk though about things I don't know. And one of the things I don't know that I would really love to like, <laughs> I would love to be. <laughs> excited about it is country like luke combs you know like i know nothing about country and you guys go to don't you guys go to stagecoach and like all this stuff i saw lacy there a few times (laughs) like uh, what what's the i I don't know like what's the hype what's the hype (laughs) yeah all i feel is like tractors you know yeah the stigma yeah so i I guess what's the hype of uh of Country, oh, wow, country music and i luke never... combs is doing like stuff on now during coronavirus right he's like playing in his house or i something. guess i'm not really up to date with recent country but um the country music i think it's i hated it in the beginning i feel like most people hated it in the yeah, beginning until they started too. listening to it so you just locked yourself in a room for four hours and just well actually i locked My myself sister. in a car for a road trip and oh, that's, really? that's how it happens. Yeah, it's usually other people that get you to start liking oh, country music. And then you start to listen to it, and then you're like, oh, it's not so bad after all. In fact, it's hardly even country music. You know, it's like Sam Hunt. How much, how exactly. country is that guy? Exactly. He's hardly country. We are going to go into a break, but we are going to be talking about uh, a couple things that I don't know, including um, the halftime show with Jennifer Lopez and Shakira and Chance the Rapper. I don't know much about him, but we will see you guys on the other side all right welcome back we are going to be talking a little bit we're going to scrap actually the halftime show because that was iconic and chance the rapper i have found out that we know very little about (laughs) um but yes nonetheless we wanted to kind of talk about how pop culture has kind of like affected our faith and and affected our lives of like who we've kind of become and and all of that kind of good stuff so um how has pop culture kind of affected your guys' faith and your your faith life? Ashley, do you want to take this one? <laughs> um, you can go ahead, Lacey. I I need like a second. Uh, there, uh, okay. it's so extensive. It's okay, so extensive. Yeah. I mean, just off the top of my head, I think pop culture has you know a f- defined like why is it we think that 
Eve ate an apple off the tree. Where in the Bible does it ever say she ate an apple? But I think pop culture influences what we think of these biblical mm. stories. I think in a, most of my um, childhood and everything, I thought while Eve was talking to the serpent and wanted to pick the uh, fruit off the tree, Adam was off doing something great and righteous when Adam was standing right next to her. But pop culture makes us believe that Adam was off doing something great. I mean, this is just what I've what I've thought about. Um, mm. Just because, you know, and it might not be that significant, but pop culture does have a huge effect on the way we interpret the Bible or the way we interpret um, things that have happened within Christianity. Um, I think celebrities having a voice like it, it, that even in, changes our interpretation of of things like within the Bible or within like our mm -hmm. own faith is like if somebody says because it, it, let's say um, if somebody's saying something like um, I was just trying to think of an example, but I'm blanking. But it's like if somebody tells you something like and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And they keep telling you, you know, yeah. things and you're like, yes, yes, yes. And then they tell you something that's like off. You're kind of like. Well, yeah, you know, and yeah, you start to agree with things that you might, you know, things start to become, and then more celebrities kind of get on it, yeah. and it's like they're in. That's that's where influence comes mm -hmm. from, you know. Um, I guess what is what else has kind of like shaped you guys? I guess within your faith. Um, well, Lacey like spoke about it a little bit more spiritually. For me, my biggest struggle with faith and pop culture has always been social like mm. social issues um and i talk about like more with my relationships and um like my relationship with myself but also with you know my friends my family that kind of a thing um there was a lot of things that would be considered i don't know funny or um trends that other people were picking up on that i just never found funny because of my um my faith you know um I'm trying to think of specific examples, but like sometimes there's things that I would just see or I would hear. Um, I mean, for me, like, I, and maybe I'll just talk yeah, while you're yeah. thinking of an example, but for me is like a lot of the different dancing, like on TikTok in general, like there's a lot that are like very, very sexualized. Oh. Like you have no idea. I don't, I really don't, but it's like, from the little amounts that I like spend and I don't have a TikTok, like I think HTLT did have a TikTok and or does have one. Uh, but it's like the little amount that I know, it's like the, this dancing is so mm -hmm. over sexualized. Oh, and yeah. it's like, that's what for well, me, I'm like, something's wrong. Well, that's a great example. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because um, I was like drawing a blank there for a second. But I know that sometimes I'll like hang out with friends and they'll be like, let's do this challenge. I don't want to like name one in particular yeah. kind of a thing, but they'll be like, let's do this challenge. And I'm just like, I have never or will ever move my body in that way mm. because that's just not who I am. And I don't want other people to now see me in that kind of a light. Sure. So I think sometimes it's really it's a really self-conflicting thing because you want to be um accepted into like the pop culture mm -hmm. world you want your friends to be like oh she's down to do this so kind peer of pressure kind of has changed oh yeah 100 percent. it's more you know if you're not doing a certain trend or if you if you don't have a tiktok you know oh you don't have a tiktok All oh right. that's weird you're not really <laughs> you're not really you know but it's stuff yeah. like that where it's like well no but i don't have to have a tiktok to be human yeah you know like i don't have to or to have fun like yeah you know like or you to be socially like accepted mm -hmm. kind of mm. a thing and that's with everything the what you wear to what you how you talk what kind of music you listen to it's like all it's, it's just all influenced by what is quote-unquote cool see that's that's the thing and, it, and it's kind of it strikes me as like interesting because the biggest thing that people got um, really attacked for just in uh, like a minor was homeschool students. Now everybody what, what is homeschooled. Oh. You know, it's like, oh so now gosh, it's like yeah. everybody attacks homeschool students. Oh, you're homeschool, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. and it's like, like, you probably don't have any friends. Yeah, yeah, and stuff like that. And it's like, now everybody is homeschooled. So does that mean <laughs> they have no friends? Like, does that, you know? Yeah, no, that that is a big one. It's interesting too. So. I don't know, within the realm of, like, your faith, has pop culture kind of shaped you positively in any way? Um, 
Um, I would say that it's it was it's a constant battle. Like I wouldn't say I would love to say that it's been positive because mm. you know I am you know still devoted into being living a Catholic life. Sure. Um, I would love to say that that's positive, but I would also say that um, those feelings of like that battle hmm. it does take a negative effect mm-hmm. um, because then you start to doubt yourself like am I am I weird for wanting to live this way when pop culture is telling me I should live this mm. way mm-hmm. or like the question right now that's really big I think in pop culture with like kids in general is like am I enough to the people who in reality aren't that important you know like mm. uh, you you want to be enough to people that have no you know, say in what you're going to do with your life. So why do you, you know, like, it's just, just that question of, am I enough? And then you look at Mm. people who look like they have it all together. And then you start to wonder why you don't have it all together, you know? And it's that keeping up with the Joneses, you mm -hmm. know, it's like you see somebody in there. When when was that reference created? (laughs) Keeping with the Joneses. I always use that. That's, (laughs) it's an old one. Sorry. (laughs) But let's keep it pop culture, Jace. Okay. Sorry. (laughs) Uh, I am shooketh. Um, <laughs> Get with don't the times. be salty. I will Shook. try to be woke. What is the oh, woke? That is just such a whole nother like concept. And, you know, I think with the, you know, people being woke comes a lot with like the whole cancel culture thing. Mm-hmm. And like people who are woke are following the rules of what woke is. Yeah. So how are you woke? It's all, I, it's all ironic of how you know, everything, it's just, and it's, it's like, hypocritical of kind of how everything kind of meets itself on, you know, everybody's like, I want to be unique, but everybody wants to be unique. Yeah. So they, they, are we, you, you know, it's yeah, like, it's like <laughs> when you want to be, you know, the, this idea of identity and individualism, individualism, you know, on an uprise in our generation, it's like, that is not, that's a way that culture is um, controlling us, mm. you know, and that's like a whole nother thing, but culture controls us in every in every single way how how has culture controlled us i'm just asking well advocate. um i think thinking about like just being um you know i think the standardization of a lot of things have have controlled us standards um i think the what people- is something that's standard like in culture that like in Christianity or even somebody that's living like a morally sound life, like what's something that's standard in culture that is kind of like, eh, not so good in, uh, and I guess like a moral life. I was thinking more, um, like history wise of our, like the standardization Ooh, of like time, you know, people didn't used to have to look at a clock to know what time it was. They would look at the sky or they would look at where the sun is. And if I thought it was noon, someone else might have thought it was one or, you know, or two. Mm-hmm. But with the standardization of time and clocks and um, everyone always on a schedule, we've created anxiety, anxiety. I think an uproar, uprise of anxiety mm. because of the standardization of time. I'm going to change the subject a little okay, bit. Okay, wait, let me let me say one last okay. thing for on that. That that's so good and I really want to talk about that too because it's like even in this in the sense of like we've like jumped on we we live in a society where we need a vacation Mm -hmm. you know it's like we need a vacation from coronavirus like being in quarantine we need a vacation from that you know and and we live in this society where it's like where we thrive off of like vacation because of these influencers that are living in their influencer life or yeah. mansions or uh-huh. Uh-huh. houses and stuff and it's like so we need a vacation whereas like a thousand years ago the king was like all right everybody i'm not gonna you know i'm gonna take a vacation for a yeah. month you know it's like that never happened exactly you know? exactly so i don't know jumping moving around ashley changed the subject oh i was or just, going back i was gonna like go back to your question um i love how lacy and i are having like completely different thoughts of, like, <laughs> the questions that you're asking. i'm like talking about the history of time <laughs> I, I'm like I'm like wow that's so we're spreading the net yeah, no we are spreading the net oh, very much so um now I'm kind of forgetting what I was going to talk about it's gone oh oh no I'm sorry <laughs> pop culture I don't know um so like within kind of the context of pop culture and like 
influencers and all of that kind of good stuff that's kind of like happening in the climate of kind of like what we're in right now like Mm -hmm. that we're in um and we were talking about this and i don't want to talk about like too much into it uh but we were talking a little bit at the core meeting is like we're we're in a in a climate kind of like this almost like a perfect storm of like here the pandemic hit like that's one um then we're quarantined in lockdown so we don't have like we can't bounce ideas off of one another and we're like into ourselves no physical interaction. no physical interaction is another like then um uh you have like the George Floyd kind of thing and BLM coming out you know and all these different and then protests and that like all of these things are kind of making a perfect mm-hmm. storm and then in a month and a half I don't know when this is going to air but like in a month and a half we're going to have an election you know and it's like so all of these things are all happening kind of in the in a perfect climate and then right in the middle of it when we're in lockdown we have pop culture like that's that's our friends those are our relationships that we're kind of building online like via zoom via um the news or via all of these different things um do you like i don't know the way that i see it and i want to see if you guys agree or disagree is like they have more of a a hold on us now than ever before oh yeah would you agree disagree like just us being controlled in a sense or yeah like in the sense of like we are we are now kind of like our crutch is being on the computer being on the phone being on electronics being on you know um i don't know talk to me why wow loaded question sorry just wanted to (laughs) i mean i i think we're um it's can you repeat the question like one more time? So like being in the in the state of in the, kind of like, like the perfect stormness of it all. Yeah, being in the perfect storm and all of this is like pop culture is hitting us kind of like hitting us hard right now. Yeah. It's like and and that's our crutch is like how do you think I guess like pop culture has given to this perfect storm? In a negative way or do you mean like in a positive way? Um, I mean, well, it can be like on your own you. experience, um, like what you've experienced. Um, I would say that it's made me realize like how reliant, I guess it's brought a lot of self-awareness to where I stand with um social media and pop culture like where Mm. i stand with it i see i in the way i view myself if i'm looking like bird's eye view um i see myself i guess as you is uh that's an old uh that's an old term (laughs) yeah but it's so visual jason oh sorry Um, got you (laughs) so i see it more as like i'm a victim i guess Mm. of pop culture i like i'm um like i I'm like, being controlled. I guess yeah, like controlled like by it. I'm being morphed by it. I'm being told that I have to use social media or use um, whatever trends or whatever is going on in the world to like go through quarantine, to go through all these movements. Yeah. Like, when I feel like I have no one to turn to, this is what I should turn to. I think there's like really good and really bad things with that too. Like I, I didn't know about this, but I think a couple podcasts ago, they, they let me know on TikTok, there's like a 75 challenge or something where it's like you work out for, you work out, you read, you drink water for 75 days or something. I need that kind of, I know. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting only the good stuff that people are sharing with me, but it's like, um, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I mean, there's good stuff out there. You yeah. know, there's there's bad stuff out there. But it's just like... Do you think... What way outweighs the other? I'm, and you can't say the middle. What do you guys think? What I, outweighs the other is where um, I, I say like What's faith. your for you? Oh. No, I think like it's like... Is that what you're trying to get No, no, at? no. I'm sorry. In pop culture, what outweighs? The good in pop culture or the bad in pop culture? What would you say? Where's the teeter-totter? It can't be in the middle. People love to focus on the bad, you know, with everything. Because, I mean, when you're talking about just, like, bad things in general, like, you know, whatever, um, I would say bad because that's culturally what people think is good. Like, interesting. So, yeah, yeah. Or if it's people, you know, um, having difficulties, like people, celebrities say, um, having family problems, that is going to outweigh a celebrity who maybe just released a new album or something, Mm. you know, like people like to focus on. Yeah. Drama, whatever feeds 
people's you know wants and needs and what they want to hear and what they want to watch you know isn't it like isn't that weird that we're we're like um like made up in that way that we want to we we're so infatuated with people what's wrong with people yeah or like people's failures like yeah you know and that that's and something i did want to talk about the one thing that i've seen kind of within covid like the good is have you guys seen john krasinski's some good news no i've seen him have like i i know he has it but i've never he posted on um, he posted it early on on instagram on instagram yeah he does like videos yeah yeah. this was early on i'm just talking about the very first one i haven't seen any other after that but the very first one like during the midst of all of this he's like we just need some good news you know because when you look at the news they're going by ratings they want they want you know to get ratings and people and he's like i just want to hear good news and so people sent him a whole bunch of videos yeah and it was so like I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like, it's so uplifting, you know? I don't know. And it's weird. Like, why is it that we want, you know, why is it? Drama. New, yeah. Well, why is it that we only want to hear stuff that's like horrible? What are the Kardashians doing? Yeah. Like, what's wrong? Are they going to end their, I don't Speaking know. Speaking of pop culture, oh. Kardashians ending. Oh, is it going to end? up with the Kardashians yeah, last season. Oh, dang. Which is yeah, so interesting. I just interesting. threw that out there and I'm like. That was really oh. big recently. That's a big thing going on right now, I think. But anyways, not important. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, like, that raises a good question, too. Um, just because I'm thinking of, like, what are you most attracted to in pop culture? Mm-hmm. Like, what makes you attracted to keeping up with the Kardashians? Is it drama, like, you know? Or is it just because it's on your phone? Like, because, like I said, the algorithm thing, the for you. Mm-hmm. But if it, it's for you, like, you've liked it one or two mm-hmm. times then that takes precedence over anything else. But also, if we are, you're saying that we want to hear good news, why aren't we out there looking for it? Mm. Or why aren't we out there creating it? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's it's mind-blowing. But why, yeah, why is it we don't, I don't know. Maybe because there's so much bad in the world. Is there more bad in the world than good in the world? Or are we so focused on it? Like cup half full, cup half empty, Mm -hmm. or half what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't, don't, I don't know. I, I, yeah, and I think that's something like. Or within... may, sorry, maybe there's a lot of bad that people want to hear about in hopes they can change something. Um, maybe there's it gives people purpose. You know, I think I that mean, gives like yeah, I think it ignites like a fire. Yeah, I think it gives people some some purpose. If we don't, if everything was so perfect, what would we live for? You know, like what mm. if everything was perfect? It'd just be like, eh. It's just the norm, but if you know, what and like, get, and then well, then it's like, <laughs> then it's like, well, why do you want bad things to happen in our life? Well, I don't want bad things to happen in our life, but it does bring purpose to people's lives, you know, mm. wanting to change the world. But I think, and this is something we talked about before, but it steals our peace. Like entering anytime drama or gossip or like something on pop culture, like it steals your peace. Mm-hmm. Like you get anxious, you get yeah. angry, you get frustrated. You know, it's like you don't, you're not at peace. You're not, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Ash, what were you going to say? You lost it. Her mind it. looks blown. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just kind of, you know, in like dissecting these. Yeah, it's hard when things. you have to. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to pop culture because there's a well, lot of influence. Well, the like I'm trying to keep it strictly pop culture, but I feel like it's really difficult to keep it strictly pop culture when I feel like it just ties into so many other topics. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of, like, kind of a thing like but pop think, culture just being so like what is pop culture but i think pop is culture just, is that like pop culture i mean live. little moments like people events or different things mm-hmm. like have changed time like i mean in in different for different people in different times you know for instance like not a person but a fire starting like here changed the way that we lived for a while you know it changed what we were seeing on instagram changed like all these different things and then something that happened changed the lives of other people is in australia in january Mm -hmm, like the mm -hmm. big fire like that didn't affect us it affected us maybe like oh we need to give or what have you but it's like affected their lot you know it's like there was there was a ted talk that i listened to actually about pop culture when i was Mm. at school and um they had essentially said like is pop culture dead is pop culture important like if you don't feel like you necessarily like something within pop culture is it relevant to you Mm. and i thought that was a great question because a lot of times like i could care less about chance the rapper i could care less about keeping up with the kardashians or like 
I love Avatar, but like for example, <laughs> oh, if I said too. if I said I don't like Avatar, like it's irrelevant. Um, that's a big thing to say because within the world, like you could claim that Avatar has changed the world, you know, mm. or like Star Wars has changed the yes. world, like things like that. It's so yeah. you when you think well, a lot of times when you criticize pop culture, you think um it's irrelevant like Mm. this is the filler stuff there's nothing really like here to feed feed you in a way and for some cases that might be true but it is also important and relevant like in those ideas on its own Mm. wow yeah i mean without like who creates pop culture and why do we like without pop culture what would we who what would we do i don't know i think i don't know because then you can even say like was jesus part of pop culture like was he in his time (laughs) i mean i definitely think he was part of a culture you know (laughs) um he's like yo 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 (laughs) (laughs) like there was that that culture yo peter cast your net (laughs) it's it's evolved obviously yeah Um, but well i definitely think i think like i definitely think like culture does shape you know it's like it shapes um what we think i think it shapes um just kind of all these different things. And I think us being connected that, that in and of itself, like our connection, what we plug into, like being plugged in has shaped our way of thinking. Like instead of like, let's say we didn't have phones. Like if you didn't have a phone, the only people you would know about is your neighborhood and work, Mm -hmm. like what's happening in your neighborhood and what's happening at work, you Mm -hmm. know, or like the different people you wouldn't know about celebrities. You wouldn't know about a huge event that happened in January where Kobe Bryant died, like Mm -hmm. something that changed the world. Like, yeah, rest in peace. Um, but it's like that huge event, like for that. Um, I know even when Michael Jackson died and Kobe Bryant, like, everybody felt it you know it's like things like that like shaped everything and then it started thinking about your own death you know for me at least oh i i was thinking the same thing who would be at my funeral like who would i anticipate Mm -hmm. would it you know and stuff like that have i influenced the world like this have i have i not maybe to that extent but like um i don't know i i just think pop culture does have a way with like the how to of like how how are we influencing, you know? It's like, what mark are we leaving? Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's even a great question to ask the viewers, too, to think about. Because, I mean, I'm definitely going to be thinking about that. I think um, I'm going to give a shout out to my girl, Melanie. Um, but <laughs> Mel- I think, Mel- like, she, if we're talking about, like, your content and, like, what you're giving off to the world, she is someone that I would like to produce or not produce content, like, in that way but i would want to embody that Mm. i guess that social media presence um she is someone that i would want to be like yes like i want to inspire you yes this is the good news that i heard today why Mm -hmm. aren't you doing that um she has beautiful paintings that give me (laughs) good news every day okay like um i guess it's like um, I guess by maybe, then, maybe the question would rather be like, why, why don't you feel like you're doing that? Mm, because it's, I'm just posting social pi- pictures. Yeah. Well, I mean, also there's not really much going on right now. <laughs> well, people, about, I feel like when I think of Melanie, for example, I think of like her oh, being no. that, per, you know, her being that person to share like great news or share mm. like inspiring things. But you know i think of it more like that's her thing yeah 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 oh, like exactly. if i want to be my unique person like i don't want to be Mel- like i don't want to be melanie i guess what is now i'm going to put you guys on the spot oh, what is brother. your unique thing like what what how are you influencing the world and pop culture like around you not maybe the worldwide but it's like, like on social media or um, well, i don't anything. think i am influencing the world with my like my social media is kind of just like hey this is what i'm doing today kind of a thing yeah but i think not like not that bizarre not much going yeah. on there why, why yeah there's that? not i'm not i'm not gonna be like throwing out the the instagram out there to be like yes look at my Instagram. yeah yeah it's not. um i think it's more within the conversations that i have like that's mm. more my my thing so what are you doing I'm asking questions. I'm trying to get to know like who you are, what you believe in, what are your values, 
Um, I kind of just go straight into, you know. Mm, yeah. <laughs> What's your dives, deepest, darkest sin? She dives <laughs> right in. Kind of, yeah, that's kind of, I I focus more on the conversations that I have with people. Hmm. So like an individual, last, in, individual. now I'm messing yeah, up the, the word individuality. Yeah, individuality. Individualistic kind of like um, approach. Yeah, know? and I think I maybe why I wouldn't turn to social media is that it's not necessarily that. Like it's more of a a local or global um, like outreach. Hmm. Yeah. I'm glad that you helped me dissect that right now. (laughs) She knows her purpose. How about you, Lace? I don't know what I'm doing in the world, but I hope that when I interact with people that they see Jesus. Hmm. Period. Period. How do you think they have? I don't know. I have no idea. Really? But I mean. I think like being able to. I don't know. Think about it. Like, not right. Like, you don't have to come up with an answer right now. But, like, thinking about it and praying about it is like, how have I shown Jesus? You mm-hmm. know, it's like, because um, I say that it's like, I, I really hope, like, one person on a retreat, you know, walks away with Christ. Even if there's 200, I hope just one. Yeah. Um, but it's like, how am I doing that? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, um, is it the effort I put in? If if so, it's like, why? Why is my effort more here than, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's what I think more back when I'm at school, because now it's just kind of like, you know, I'm just in a groove and I just do my work and that's it. But when I'm back at school, I, I interact with like a lot of people that I, you know, obviously who don't know me or people who don't um, know who I am at all. And it's like, it's the bigger thing that has come into my mind is like first first impressions and what people think of me then you know like Mm -hmm. they've never met me before and they have no idea who I am or what my intentions are if I have any you know but I hope that people um you know if there's a conversation and and church is brought up or or worship is brought up or whatnot that people can um think about things that people like i just want to give people something to think about do you go into like um into a conversation oh that means we have to come to a close um but do you go into a conversation like looking for jesus like how to talk to him or is it like eh, if it comes it comes oh that's a great question oh man (laughs) maybe we'll save that for part two no i'm just kidding (laughs) quick 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 because i only have like 30 seconds um I would say I just I don't know. I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> All Thanks right. For having us. Yes. Okay. Thank you, ladies, for joining us on this podcast. We will have a part two for sure, um, and we'll have you guys on for it. Uh, maybe we'll get one more additional person as well. Um, y'all are squad goals. Don't forget <laughs> to spill the tea about our podcast to friends, and because it is on fleek. The vibe, Bye, check. The vibe check was good today. Let's go. <laughs> There's so many. Yes. Okay. All right. Adios.